So, as many of you saw yesterday, Vice wrote an article about Dave Chappelle's new stand-up, Sticks and Stones, over on Netflix, and they weren't too happy about it. But, in good fashion, BuzzFeed just came out with their own article, pretty upset about Mr. Chappelle. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I try to do is take different topics going on in the YouTube community or pop culture and try to see what lessons we can learn from them to improve our own mental and emotional well-being. And if comedy is something that really upsets you, you really need to subscribe and ring the notification bell because a lot of us are in dire need of improving our mental and emotional well-being, all right? So anyways, yeah, um, those of you who don't know, uh, I have a book out called Cancelled Inside YouTube Cancel Culture, where it's kind of like the outrage culture that's going after Dave Chappelle, but more so in the YouTube community. All right, so the ebook and audiobook are available. Um, the ebook, there are free versions of that book available until the end of the month, so about four more days. All right, that will be down in the description, down in the pinned comment below. But speaking of the book, I wanted to start out because I actually, I actually actually talked about comedians in the book because it they deal with this a lot. They deal with the outrage culture and the cancel culture a lot. So let me read you this quick little section. Chapter 19. I'm a huge fan of comedians, and comedians are people who are OGs when it comes to dealing with cancel culture. Their job is to make us laugh, and oftentimes it's by observing how silly our world is and making fun of it. Unfortunately, every joke is going to offend someone. I remember seeing one of my favorite comedians, the late Patrice O'Neill, defending a fellow comedian who caused some outrage. When asked about how he could justify a bad joke, Patrice responded by saying the following. The attempt is what I'm trying to fight for. Funny jokes and unfunny jokes come out of the same birth. So yeah, I highly recommend you watch the video I did yesterday about the Vice article about Dave Chappelle because here's here's something that I will just keep pounding into everybody's head. Intent matters. Okay, like I mentioned, I'm reading this new book called The Coddling of the American Mind and something that they talk about is why intent matters. So the court of public opinion is absolute lunacy. Like that's what led to the Salem witch trials and stuff like that. But look at the court of law, all right? So the book had a great example in there. Let's say a guy tried to poison and kill his wife, all right, but she did not die. He would still get in a lot of trouble for attempted murder because his intention was to kill her. Now, let's say that the wife ate a peanut butter sandwich and she had no idea that her husband was allergic to peanuts. Hell, the husband didn't even know he was allergic to peanuts. She kisses him, he has an allergic reaction, would she go to jail for attempted murder? No, because there was no intent, all right? Like, I think one of the best ways to look at outrage culture and cancel culture is to just ask yourself, like, what would happen in the court of law? Is there enough evidence here to lock somebody up, all right? So when it comes to comedians like Dave Chappelle making jokes and their intent is to make people laugh, there's not much to really get upset about. So one of the reasons I talked about that Patrice O'Neill story, um, which I uh, recounted in my book, was because this article from BuzzFeed. So let me just read you a, a real quick section from that. Chappelle still wants it both ways. He is willing to address criticisms of his earlier sets that were more flagrantly, lazily anti-trans, but not actually apologize or admit to changing his mind or express any meaningful empathy. It's the kind of purposefully ludicrous statement that's designed to provoke, of course. It's not even funny so much as shocking. So a few things, a few things. Let, let's all unpack this real quick. Like, funny is subjective. Like, do any of you watch 
Drew Gooden. If you do, let me know down in the comments below. Drew Gooden is the man. Drew Gooden made an amazing video about Saturday Night Live, right? And he talks a lot about the subjectivity of humor, right? And what people find funny and unfunny. Like, something you find funny might not be funny to someone else. It is all subjective, okay? So, one of the issues here is that this this journalist from BuzzFeed News, who probably gets mad at a lot of ridiculous things, like, why are they going to be the judge of funny? Like, I'm gonna link the Patrice O'Neill interview down below. It is absolutely hilarious, and I'm so sad. Like, every now and then, I just get so sad that we lost Patrice O'Neill. But he's on, like, um, the news. I, I, I can't remember which news station it was. It's a pretty big news show. But he's debating with somebody from, like, this, like, super, like, um, like uh, no making jokes about these things like organization and he's just talking he's like your job is not in funny our job is in funny and you're trying to tell us what to do and you guys like this is compelled speech like it's not that's not what <laughs> what we do and I hate I hate talking about that like I I need to talk about freedom of speech in order to make these points and make these videos, but I hate talking about it. I hate that it's even become something that we need to debate about. Like the fact that people are trying to silence other people is just absolutely mind blowing, okay? Like if you're living in a world where you can't even like let comedians do their job, like, I just don't even want to know what the rest of your life is like. Like, it just doesn't seem like a happy, fun life. Like, comedians are there to joke and razz, and they, they target everybody. I On the comments of my last video, I saw somebody say, like, Dave Chappelle, like, they love him because he goes after everyone, all right? And what blows my mind even more is the title of his stand-up special is Sticks and Stones, all right? Do any of you remember the Sticks and Stones thing from when you were a kid? Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words can never hurt me, all right? Because they can't, okay? But Dave Chappelle, like a lot of his set, is talking about people getting offended and outraged over these words that he is saying as a comedian. He's not a member of a hate group. He is not trying to oppress anybody, all right? And it's something that he jokes about. He starts his set off by joking about this. So what's even more mind-blowing is, not only did this journalist write an article about it, but like, I'm really sitting back and thinking of the editorial staff at places like BuzzFeed and Vice, right? So here's the kind of chain of command, even though I've never worked for BuzzFeed or Vice, here's kind of how it works, all right? The journalist had to come up with the idea. The journalist then had to pitch the idea, but sometimes a journalist might pitch the idea and it's a little bit softer than what they actually write, but after they write that, then it goes to an editor for final approval. So when I look at this article from BuzzFeed, I'm like, how did it make so many steps? How did it progress so much? And they said, you know what? This is a good idea, right? Like I feel, you know, all YouTube creators, um, websites like BuzzFeed or Vice or Vox or even like, you know, news outlets, you know, you got CNN and MSNBC and Fox News, all these, it's like, who's your target audience? Like, you always gotta think about that, like, who am I targeting? Who am I writing these for, right? And when I look at this article from BuzzFeed, I'm like, is this, is this who BuzzFeed wants as their community? Is people who get outraged? about comedians. So the last thing I wanna talk about is, have any of you seen the movie PCU? It's like from the 90s. It has Jeremy Piven in it, and who else is in it? I think one of the Baldwins is in it, is he? I don't remember. No, 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 John Favreau. John Favreau looked like one of the bald ones in it. He was this weird stoner guy. Anyways, if you've seen PCU, let me know down in the comments below. But when I look at like what this, what this, what's going on with outrage culture, like PCU was kind of making fun of this in the 90s, but there's a line to get into a party and it has all these different oppressed groups 
arguing with each other about who should be in the front of the line, right? So like, it's like, you know, people of color, and then there's people from the LGBTQ community, and it's people from different groups, but they're, they're just kind of poking fun about how everybody wants their problem to be the worst problem so they get special treatment. Because I said it yesterday and I'll say it again, neither the Vice article nor the BuzzFeed article discussed how Dave Chappelle started off his set by making fun of suicide and throughout his set, he made fun of the opioid crisis, all right? So like, I, I think just like in a joking kind of funny way, how funny would, a, would it be if I came on here making videos attacking Vice and BuzzFeed saying, well, what about the opioid crisis? What about the suicide rate? More people are dying from opioid addiction and suicides than anybody who, you know, is being, uh, you know, a victim of a hate crime because each year, tens of thousands of people are dying from opioid overdoses. No, I'm not gonna do that because the dude, Dave Chappelle, was joking. He's a comedian. And listen, I have lost many, many, many people to overdoses. I've lost many people to suicide, all right? And something that makes life just a little bit easier is being able to watch comedians joke about it and I can laugh about it. You know what I mean? It helps not give these things in life so much power over us. So anyways, like if you're out there, like I, I had some people say they're unsubscribing and I'm sorry if I lose you, but like, the community I want, the community I want here is people who know which things to put their energy into and getting outraged about comedians, like I don't think that's one of them, all right? But anyways, again, don't forget, check out in the description and the pinned comment below, my brand new book, Cancelled, Inside YouTube Cancel Culture, is out now and there are free versions of the ebook available until the end of the month, all right? But anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And a huge thank you to everybody who supports the channel in other ways, like buying my merch or my books and all that kind of stuff. All right, thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.